find you somewhere to stay because you just don't want to live in in Silicon anymore. It's not your job. You and 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 can I mean, let's just I want to know why this man, you know, what whatever he think he is, icons, self-proclaimed icon, whatever he is. Why is it that he felt the need to feel like he's Cinderella and you were supposed to make a miracle happen and put him in uh, one of them horse and carriages to wheel him down there? Why was he think that's your responsibility? Um, because they thought that everything was my responsibility. Um, you know, yeah, like the, the yeah. Um, yeah, that, that wasn't my responsibility. Again, you know, putting together a birthday party. That's not what I'm here to do. That didn't benefit me. That didn't make me a single dollar. Um, Good night, Mia. Go ahead, Carlos. Yeah, no, that just didn't didn't make me a single dollar. Um, you know, the the wedding reception didn't make me a single dollar. The wedding itself didn't make me a single dollar. You know, so as a but, matter of fact, didn't you call in favors for all of that and 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 you got it? You got them those real celebrities there as a as as something that you knew through your own connections yeah absolutely um yeah though they they don't know any celebrities they only know the celebrities that i introduced them to like candy um i introduced them to candy and made them made it possible for them to meet candy um i made it possible for them to meet um to talk to the brat on the phone and meet her wife judy um yeah, they they didn't know any celebrities or how to even get in touch with people. Um, again, I've been doing this for 15 years or so. So, you know, so I utilize the connections in which I actually have, you know, to make things happen. They didn't know how to get in touch or meet Lunell um, or or or. or um, uh, Sherry Shepard or any of those people that they met. And that came through you. And, and, and another thing that people wouldn't realize was that that reception and all that stuff happened because of you. It did. Yes. The, the $60,000 reception happened because of me and my connections. Yes. For, for $0 to them. And if, if I'm not mistaken, the only money that they had to pay was because they brought their family in to to where this place was going to be. But other yes. than that, that was on them to bring that. They did family. not even want to. They got so upset that they had to pay two thousand dollars to bust their family in from Silicon as if we were supposed to take care of that, too. Why would this man, does this man not know that you got to pay for things out of pocket when you get a management team and you got to pay your staff and they get out there and get you the jobs and bookings and get you out there? Does, did he not know that, Carlos? I don't know what they they knew or did know. They didn't, don't, they don't seem to know quite of anything. If you still, even today, you listen to them talk they can't even say basic words, you know, like resort. You know, you go to, you go to Jamaica and you go to a resort. It's not a result. You know, you have seasonings <laughs> coming out. It's not called season. You know, well, seasonings well, are not called season. You know, and, he, and, he, and here's one for you, Carlos. When when Joe Diddy and and radio radio was Charles was trying to talk and go in on Miss Tia, Tia Kemp. Joe, uh, Charles said... Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. He couldn't even say community. He said communication. He was yes. trying to talk about the, the Jamaican... Yes. He said the Jamaican communication. Like, what are you... Like, what, like, you just make yourself seem like you don't know nothing. You just stupid. You dumb. You know, 
and and and, 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 let's and you, not forget, you, you you make yourself look like you from you live in a trailer park. To be yeah, honest with and, you, and let's not forget, uh, Charles told Tia she need to find her a perfection to do. He was trying to say <laughs> profession, and he said perfection. And Joe yeah, well, Diddy was right there. I was just proud Diddy. to hear Charles say more than ten words then. Right. All he would do is mm hmm, uh huh, mm hmm, uh huh. So he, otherwise, all he ever know is 10 words, 10 vocabulary words. That's, I know that. That's all he knew. And then, beside the point of, did you, every time you've seen him, wh why is he drinking all the time? Is that just to stay around Joe Diddy? You know, I don't know. Um, that it could be because Charles does like to drink. Did did Joe Diddy ever try to invite you in that pool with Charles? And I'm just asking you to clear up these rumors. You know them Joe Diddy liked them freak off, and I know you wasn't having nothing to do with that. But did he ever try to invite you over to get in the pool? No, I was never invited to get in the pool. Uh huh. That's that's. I know you would have. I know you would have read you would have read him from one end to the other. So what what do you think this man is thinking doing this stuff instead of them reaching out the right way to have resolved this with you to try to to put out a fire instead of making things worse? You know, it's part narcissism. Um, I think um i think one of them is a complete narcissist and you know can never admit that they're wrong about anything uh that's why even when the situation with you know say, speaking about black black women you know it took them a while before they actually came out and said that they were wrong right you know so they just have a they you, you, when you're dealing with a narcissist, a narcissist will hardly ever admit that they're actually wrong. And that's just what, what you what what the public is dealing with. And you know, and then then they're also desperate, right? So they can't go back. You can't go back, right? Because it's not gonna look good, right? On on I on you know, you can't go back. And I don't wanna work with them ever again, you know, so I'm glad that it ended the way that it did. Um, because I think people saw more of the errors in them and not in me as they were intending because I Absolutely. have done everything, you know, as upstanding as possible. I'm a businessman. I'm a capitalist. So that's Absolutely. what I'm going to do. I make more money doing the least amount of work. Um, so, you know, so so I think they made a fool of themselves. Yep. Um, and you can't I I this is I, I do. I own a lot of different businesses. I say that all the time. I own a, a every, anything you could think of, I own it. I'm a true capitalist. I own a, a processing company, right? So I hire people to go and serve people papers all the time because I own it. I, I hire people to go, people pay us to go and find their baby moms and baby dads to put them on child support. So we, we you know, I own all kinds of things. And somebody today came and approached me because they want me to 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 do something, some work for them, and where they you know they want to do a public campaign against somebody, and you know I gave them a price tag, the price tag twenty five thousand. That's the starting price. Um, so I do real work, and I do. I've been working in media relations for years. I'm a spin doctor. I'm here to. I spend narratives for clients every single day. That is part of what I do on a daily basis. People pay me big money to spend narratives. Um, <laughs> and, to, and, you know, I work with people that you wouldn't even believe. You, Some of these people, you see statements, they do something wrong. You see a statement out. Sometimes it's my company that put those statements out. And we're, again, we're paid big dollars to do so. So there is no way that they thought that they could even go up against somebody of my caliber who've been doing this for a lifetime. No way. Well, and we and we definitely know that. Um, now, what's interesting to me is that 
this man seems to think that people forget what he say, what he do, what he's did. But when you went into that trailer to get what I didn't, we only we know what I'm talking about. When you went to that trailer and they let you in there remotely by their phone, was Lily in that house? Do you remember Lily tapping in that house when you went in there? Did you, you remember hearing that dog was in that trailer? No, so for the most part, the dog has always been with somebody else. When they go out of town, they take the dog to somebody else. Now, my clothes did get dirty because there was like I had like rain the day before, so there was a lot of mud. You know, it's not like a road in the little country parts or whatnot. It's it's dirt roads, so it's not country roads. So on the little dirt road, there was a a stray dog who's just around. Who I guess Charles, you know. See, saw a lot of himself in the dog, so he just took the dog in, and um, and so this dog that Charles had taken in um, was just outside, and he just kept jumping up on me, kept jumping up on me, on the and 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 all the dirt from his paws kept getting on me. So I was very up straight. That was, so that was the only dog that was around. But I, but Lily, every time they go out of town. Um, the Lily is with someone else. So, it, it, you know, and God bless his soul for trying to get that slow dog. You know, the dog was slow. Charles was slow. They had something in common and they bonded. And I, I got to give I got to give him kudos for that. You, 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 they say your dog is like your keeper, the owner's keeper, whatever. So you see one, you see two. So, so kudos to Charles for getting that slow dog and him being slow and doing whatever they, whatever he doing with that dog. Now, um, when, when they try to attack you with all this mess and stuff, you, you, you made sense, like you said, you know how to spin it, you, 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 you silenced them. See, a lot of people didn't realize the, all the power and knowledge you had. People underestimated you, even I did, and I apologize to you. And I know you remember this uh, a few months back when you were on my show, and we, we were actually a guest on Mia's show, when that that dude came up acting like he was a journalist and you read him from top to bottom and I read him from top to bottom. You remember that? Yeah, you know, you first, I, I'm a national award winning journalist. I won a national award as a journalist for the reporting that I've done. That's one. Um, two, I worked for some of the top media companies. I used to work for CNN uh, on a show in 20, uh, uh, about nine years ago. No, 11 years ago, my bad, 2013. Um, so I, my credibility is what it is. You know, I don't, you know, I've been around the people that have known me for years and people that have followed me for years. They know what I've done. I don't have to prove myself to anybody, but, uh, but I'm always going to speak the truth. I don't care who like it. You know, and I also don't care what nobody has to say. There is no, nothing out here. And nobody can say that's going to hurt my feelings. I don't care about this social media stuff. I will cuss you out and keep moving and go preach a sermon on Sunday. Um, so I don't, you know, that stuff don't impact me. Um, so, and, and, I, and I don't entertain wannabes. I don't, I just don't, you know, I don't entertain somebody who want to be a journalist. I don't entertain somebody who want to be this, want to be that. That's not what I'm here to do. Because right. my career has always spoken for itself. So what would make him think, Carlos, that you could make wonders when he would get in them gowns and they wouldn't fit him and he would get mad because they'd have to be cut up the back and shoe strings tied together to tie up the back? Why would he try to get mad at you about something that wasn't designed for him? Yeah, I don't know. I never, but the, the wardrobe was never my concern. Again, the only time I had an opinion about wardrobe is when you're trying to wear fake designer. You know, they, they, they can't even pass as real, you know. You know, that's the only time that I 
have ever get given an opinion. I don't care. You know, you wear what you want to wear. You want to be Tyler Perry? Go ahead, do so. You want to be, you know, Mar- Martin Lawrence dressed like Big Mama? Go ahead. I, I don't. I don't care. You know, um, that's so that's could not. You, could you tell us? I you know Miss Hillary Sanchez knows already, but could you tell my viewing audience how Joe Diddy talked himself out of that tones back? Coco contract, not listening to you and trying to act like he was the manager. Yeah, I mean it's it's just that simple. Just you know trying to do, um, trying to go around me to do what do my job that they obviously weren't too good at doing. And 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 it's just funny to me when you when he was working with you, they was booked and busy. They was booked and busy. They it was they was doing things. Things were lining up. They were in the works. They were they were they were doing so much. And now that you are gone, a lot of their popularity has went down. They his days of having thirty to two k in his lives is long gone, and he keeps own making critical mistakes did you ever recently in the last few months hear this man get on here and say he can't stand black women and he hoped that black women go to bed with their kids and they wake up dead yeah i I saw that what would what did you think about that carlos yeah i mean those are you know i would say career ending words but you got to have a career in order for that for you know for your career to end based upon those words so they don't necessarily have a career they're just influencers right they're influencers with no direction as to where they're going um no 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 real idea as to how to navigate these things so i wouldn't say that you know but in other words if it was anybody else I would, you know, I sat back and said, these are career ending words. But again, you have to have a career in order for those words to actually impact you. So I don't think, so in the long run, I don't really think that they're truly impacted because they're not, again, they don't have a career, that's one. And secondly, they, are not real celebrities, right? So there's no real impact that the words could really have on them, you know, other than people not watching their videos. Um, but because they're not really doing anything, you know, it's not like they've sold 10,000 bottles of their seasonings. I would be surprised if they've done well to sell 200 bottles, at, you know, th- thus far. Well, so, and, and, and go ahead. Yeah, so it's just not enough of a impact to um to actually impact anything now it's wrong what they said but again on the flip side i don't really see any true repercussions because there's nothing there to have repercussions against and 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 we definitely know that so do you think that joe diddy um doesn't realize why he got so many followers do because i've told him i said it's it and it's just a fact your looks have played a very big role in why you have so many followers why people were intrigued with you as an influencer and and you don't have to go no further than look in the mirror and 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 then when you start to open up your mouth, it, it gets more intriguing. And uh, and 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 that's just the facts. That that's just the facts. You you can't cook. You not you cannot cook nothing. And 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 well, you can cook, but in my opinion, you can't cook nothing. For me, you couldn't cater nothing for me. You couldn't do nothing for 
for truly Southern people. I don't even think the people who support him would eat that mess. I don't even think that the people who support him would eat that mess. Um, and, 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 and that's, and that's that. Now, yeah, and I, I think people, you know, I think people are actually intrigued. So even the first time that I saw him, right, you know, I was at home one day and I think this is like in December and they came across my timeline. And I think the first post that I made on my pla- my social, on my Facebook, I was like, well, is this a man or a woman? You know, because I'm like, right. you know, I, 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 you know, I'm like, well, what is this? You know, then I came back, my wife and I were sitting on the couch. We watched a couple of videos and I was like, oh, this is a man. And, um, and so, so that's so, you know, but if I think people are genuinely interested because, you know, Netta looks like Jeepers Creepers one and two with a mixture of Freddy Krueger. I think people are actually interested in that. That's right. And, and, and that's, and that's what I said. I, and, and you can, you can tell me had, had you still been managing him, you could have used, you could have got him all type of gigs at the haunted house at party city you know the costume company you probably could have got him you know uh, the star attraction in in a in a scary in a haunted house that people would have paid to see that i know i would have i know i would have to, to and, go see yeah it. and and the uh, um so yeah then the the last part of the show that i was working on was with the national brand that wanted to help fix Netta's face. So they've, they've had several people, uh, like now I think they went back. So I initially started, uh, Candy actually put them in touch with the company in Atlanta, Pretty Faces with Dr. Jean Jean. So I had started working on that, um, putting that together. They just stopped going to Dr. Jean Jean, but now I think they're going back to Dr. Jean Jean to kind of get the face fixed. There was another brand, a national brand, who was going to pay, you know, really good, to um to kind of like fix the face so i had started you know working on that um no it wasn't proactive um it was a it was another brand i'm not not going to necessarily discuss because i don't know you know what they're what they're working on but um but that you know that didn't come to fruition obviously because uh, our partnership there had ended um but um you know so so people were trying to help fix the face um and you know they just didn't didn't want you know didn't take a lot of this stuff serious you know and my thing is there's several times again i told a lot of my friends i'm like you know i i because i i I just talked to my friends about some of this stuff i'm like you know well if you you know women keep up with routines women can keep up with a night care routine you know, women can keep up with a skincare routine. You know, women can keep up with putting a bonnet on at night. You know, women don't go around losing their bonnets every single time and have to get a new bonnet almost every place you go to. You know, so I'm like, if you're gonna be a woman, you gotta you gotta be a woman. You know, if you 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 can't half ass <laughs> being a woman. You gonna, if you're gonna be right. a woman, be a woman. That's right. You cooking now. And then can we can we talk about when this man, Joe Diddy, would have them wig installed, why he couldn't keep a wig on his head. When you get normally front, front, frontal lace put on, it lasts a few days, a week if you tie it down and take care of it. You mean to tell me this man couldn't keep a wig on for 24 hours, Carlos? Yeah, so I, my name for him now, I call him Miss Nigger. So no, Miss Nigger could not keep um the 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 hair on because you know the sweating <laughs> and all that stuff um they just couldn't keep the keep the hair on and um you know so so you know yeah but again it goes back to what i just said if you're gonna be a woman you gotta be a woman women know women keep their wigs on women know how to put the wig up at night whatever they do to it put it in wrap it up whatever the case you know they don't snatch the wig off every, every day. This, you know, women, we know how to tie it down. We, we, first of all, 
you 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 gotta you gotta put your band around it your band around your outside of your your lace and then you put your bonnet on see joe diddy didn't even joe diddy ain't even acting thank you for the gifts i see you key i'm gonna follow you key i, I joe diddy didn't even act like he was doing anything like a woman not even like a drag queen it, it he he yeah, did i don't know the only thing i know you know and i I, I've, I've slept with plenty of women in my life to know what they do at night. You know, put the wig on, take it off, all that stuff. No, or don't take it off, you know. But outside of that, I don't know. But I know what I've seen. And what I've seen is women just put it in a bonnet, put the band on, wherever the case, and, 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 and go to bed. Why was, what, would, what would make this man think that... That, that he didn't have to do all these other things that everything had to be done and and everybody had to work these miracles on him like what what was he thinking um i don't know you know that i don't know what they were thinking but they they thought that they were truly on top of the world but this is my job to figure out how to keep them on top of the world and so every place, right? I'm an organizer. Um, so that's that's what I do. I organize things. I put events together, large scale events, all kind of stuff. And so, you know, that's just part of what I do is making sure that things are in place. So, you know, so it was very easy for me uh, to make sure that there was just somebody in place to do these things every place they went to. Now, let me say this, whoever was, whoever this skin doctor, whatever dermatologist or surgeon, if somebody, if somebody truly can fix Joe Diddy's face, um, can you let me know if they in the stock market so I can go on and buy the stock now? Because if, if it, if it hit, he, they got to be a billionaires and I want to be on board of that train because that dude climbed up that ugly damn tree down there in Alabama and he hit every damn branch on his way down. But he set up on here, Carlos, talking about Miss Hillary Sanchez is jealous of him. Of what? What am I jealous of? Yeah, I think, and they think so. Well, you ain't never had no money. It's it's easy to you know to to try to talk down and bad about other people, right? So they think because they had you know. Don't get me wrong. Twenty thousand dollars is a lot of money to a lot of people. Okay, and but that is what they're measuring all of this stuff based upon, right? Because they had $20,000 in a bank account, right? That they are now on top of the world. They could do almost anything, you know? And that that's, you, you, that's neither here nor there, right? But that's what they were basing their success off of. That, oh, we have a lot of money because we have $20,000, you know, which I, I can't speak for anybody else, but well, again, you, just, you spoke about it earlier when you said that the company wanted to hire you to, for a campaign or something, and you told them yeah. the campaign was twenty five G. Yeah, so, I, so that, I, I make that in in you know one contract. Um, so it's yeah, so you know, so I can't really you know, um, so yeah, it's just. But but again, it looks different for for different people. Exactly. And did you know that he pulled that same stunt when you clocked his tea and had told that stylist that the the certain things was not in the budget? Now, when he took his ass down there to Jamaica on that cruise, that he got that package on. Well, I guess apparently all you could get is margaritas, because I saw him and Charles drunk the whole cruise was margaritas in the buffet. Then he 
he got on this live just the other day talking about to yesterday of the day talking about his debit card wasn't linked so they couldn't go do nothing down there in the bahamas that they could just stay at the, the place because they no i they, think you're talking about two different things i think what you're speaking about is a previous trip that they took to jamaica versus the cruise no, no, no. They, this is a recent trip the re, a recent no, 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 they, they, the bahamas they, i meant i said jamaica but the bahamas no the the debit card issue was in reference to a trip to Jamaica, not to okay. the Bahamas. Okay, okay, thank you. Um, from from where I, where I've gathered um, on on some of the, the things that come across, and I don't watch them, I don't follow them, I don't watch them, you know. But these things still come up on my timeline because people obviously share the the content and whatnot, and so I may sit and watch like. 10 seconds of some of a video but you can learn a lot in 10 seconds because all they do is talk they talk they tell everything they tell it the entire life story the entire business so in 10 seconds you can learn everything <laughs> about these these people um but um but you know that's so that was a, the blowback was about a previous trip to jamaica um where they you know also tried to shit on people a little bit by saying uh, but I, I don't know if you can cuss on TikTok. I don't be on TikTok, but um, they tried to say that you know, we've been to uh, uh, um, uh, Hawaii, we've been to Jamaica, we've been to the Bahamas. That's three places. I've been to that time six. <laughs> you know, so they they just get on here and embarrass themselves in front of people who truly do these things you know i've been to a lot of different countries i'm planning to go to barbados just next month you know um and i would have been out the country earlier this year i usually try to take two or three trips out the country every year uh, but dealing with thing one and thing two i haven't been able to mm-hmm mm-hmm and so when 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 you put out that statement, I, I'm so glad to know that 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 was you. Um, and you and we don't care who they who managing him now or whatever he think he doing or what he doing. But what I what I can tell you is that if you would have saw the judge. If you would have keep asking me, about the doctor's note, and I've been trying my best to ignore those let, questions. Let me, let, and, and don't answer it. And, and let me say this because um, Carlos had answered that in, in this degree. This is a legal issue. You guys may not know this. There is a criminal investigation going on a, with these guys, not Carlos. He's not going to comment about an allegation that they put out against him. There is a active criminal investigation. That question will not be addressed on him. Not not you, and I know you didn't know, sweetie. I'm not attacking you. I've seen it a few times. Not you. It ain't that wasn't to you. That was just to I've seen it and I don't want people to think I was ignoring it. The reason I didn't ask the question um is because i know that there is an active criminal investigation i'm one of the ones calling every day to keep it alive and going against them for what happened about that and it has absolutely nothing to do with carlos there was an allegation against him he will not speak on that because he shouldn't and nor would he but but we can go on if so we ask who the trailer for. So the trailer is 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 Joe's nether, whoever whatever you refer to him as. Um or maybe not because the, the trademark issue. Um but the trailer belonged to Joe. Um and Charles' name, from my understanding, is not on the trailer. He just lives there. Um And so. that would make sense because when Mia had recorded her conversation with Charles, um, Joe Diddy told him, well, you can get your clothes and leave. Yeah. 
Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, and obviously you would do that. Like, if somebody co-owns something, you can't just tell somebody to leave something that they also own. You know, the only way you can tell somebody to leave something is that because they also do not own it. Right. And so do you do you know why this man didn't understand the basic principles of having to have to invest in yourself to get the the type of success and money he was putting the cart the horse before the cart the cart before the horse they want to spend money on everything but the right thing Mm mm-hmm Mm hmm. So when 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 you when when you said that when you say as a manager that it wasn't in the client's budget, that's basically saying that they didn't have that they don't have the money or was willing to spend the money to 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 have said services. Right. Isn't that just a, a nice professional yeah, way of saying just the bottom line to it? Yeah. In any way you any way you look at it, that's that's the bottom line to it. Did you ever have any discussions with him about how he was unhinged on this app at times and unraveling? Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. And the conversations were pretty much around, you know. So, and I'm like, so I told him, if you want to put out a video. Just create the content, send us the video. We'll post the video for you so that you don't have to post. That way you're not reading the comments. You're not looking at all this stuff. The only thing you should do is your live videos and then swipe left or whatever so that you don't have to see the comments on that. Um, But I've tried several times to address the issue of, you know, being unhinged or whatnot. Um, but again, when you deal with a narcissist, it is uh, is you can't you just can't you can't code stupid. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So have you ever seen now? I know that you've been around when they've done the videos and the skits and the, the production and things like that. But have you ever seen Charles just go up to his husband and just embrace him and kiss him like you do your wife like you would do your wife like look at my beautiful wife and you go over and kiss her thank you baby for being a wonderful mom or cooking dinner you know how men do that have you ever seen charles do that not really if i have it's been like once or twice and, and and this was off camera, off camera, off. Nothing was being recorded or filmed. Yeah, but I can't like vividly remember a time in which that that were the case. You know? Right, right. Did 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 you guys? Did you and Charles ever have? Did you ever do? Are they ever not a part? Are is Charles not allowed to go out and have his own friends and not be around Diddy? No, not really. But Charles and I have. So I, I do know this about Charles. Charles loved the women. Okay, that I remember one time in particular in New York, um, there was like an Asian lady or something walking by, and Charles, you know, asked me, he's like, "Hey, hey, you, you don't like Asian women, do you?" And I'm like. No, I don't, you know, I like black women. I don't like Asian women. Uh, but he, you know, I ain't gonna lie. You know, I, I, I kind of do. She, she look good. So, but he would always joke, you know. So, I mean, so I do know Charles love the women, uh, uh, you know, apparently. Um, because he would, there'd be times when he, you know, kind of states as such, you know, when, when we're just out um, different places. I'm like walking with him somewhere or something like that. Um, he'll point out a, a, um, a, 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 a woman with a big duke or something like that. Um, but it's not very, it's very rare where he's able to be by himself. Very rare. And, and, and I'll tell you what's, what's so interesting to me is, um, Charles had told a female on this app, he called her. 
pound cake face and there ain't none wrong. Every, pound cake tastes good. He's very flirtatious with with women on this, even on this app. And Joe Diddy knows it. Someone asked, does Charles ever point out men he's attracted to? I've, I, I've never witnessed anything like that. Um, I've <laughs> never, yeah, I've never witnessed anything like that. Mm -hmm. So did, 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 can you tell us, are you able to tell us who, who held the purse strings? So like when you would pull a deal together, you would get the, you would get y'all cuts or whatever. That's not our business, but did, would you send the money? Would they split the money or would Joe Diddy get it? Yeah, it always go to Joe. So, like I said, Joe hold Joe got the wallet. Joe, you know Charles should be Miss Netta, and and. Do you think Charles could be successful if he cuts ties with Joe? Um, I do not. I think Charles actually needs Joe. Joe has the brains to make them as a unit move forward. I remember one day we were in the car. I was driving. We were headed from maybe Dallas to San Antonio, I want to say. Um, but I, I remember driving and I asked them the question, you know, I was like, um, what, what, you know, what, what if we should, we, you know, try to figure out things to do to kind of keep their, you know, 15 minutes prolonged. And, you know, I came up with some ideas for, for, for Joe. I said, hey, well, you could, you know, you could sing. We can put you on the road. You can do shows by doing covers of different songs. Um, then um, I, you know, I got to Charles, and you know, this is why I just think Charles is slow. I got to Charles, and he's like, "Hmm, well, I've been thinking about being an engineer," and I'm like. What are you, what are you even talking about? Like, how how is being an engineer or whatever he said? I forget. Maybe one of it was something he said. Right. It was like totally off the wall. I'm like, we talking about your influencer kind of career here? You know what what are you talking about? And then Nana had to step in. It was like, no, that's not what you're talking about, Charles. And, you know, so right. <laughs> so what? What 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 was making that man um what what happened with with Gold's plastic surgery? Weren't they supposed to have multiple surgeries? Yeah, and it was not nothing on Gold's end. Don't 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 get that wrong. Gold's is a great company. The people there are very nice. I vetted everything before we did anything. Mm -hmm. um, I met with Gold's a lot of times asked a lot of questions before anything, before we even let them do anything, but it wasn't on goals. So whatever hasn't happened is because they don't want it to happen. Mm -hmm. So what was it was, so was he did, he didn't have no triple BBL yet. He, he went through the procedures of doing it. Yeah, no. Um, it, yeah, it's supposed to be in three different surgeries. Charles is supposed to have two different surgeries or uh, procedures, not surgeries, but procedures. And uh, they both only had one. So the first procedure, I'm assuming what Joe Diddy had was had all that, all that, that horse manure removed up out of his blockage. They removed that blockage up out of him in order to do anything. So that probably took up the whole day in itself, getting all that stuff backed up out of him. Um, and then I don't know why they get mad or don't understand that surgery is painful and you got to go through things. They, it seemed like they don't complete stuff. They just half-ass do stuff, Carlos. Yeah, because they don't, they don't, you know, there's no guidance, you know, people like them, again, it's like, it's like a, a, a daycare with not the brightest kids in the daycare. It's like a daycare full of 
not the brightest kids. You know, you got to constantly hold their hand. You got to constantly, you know, take them on the playground, you know, and, 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 and read books to them and, you know, and, and, you know, let them have nap time and, and all this kind of stuff. Here's Uh, a question for you, Carlos. Could you please tell everybody they in here when that mistake had happened when y'all left out that hotel and they had to figure out the bill and for that food when that security was there tell them what happened when they came to check charles to show he paid for that food in that restaurant wait when when was this what was this when they was in la Do you remember when they were in L.A. and they stopped Charles at the door? They was getting ready to go out the door and they was looking at Charles' phone to see that receipt on the phone. I don't remember that. I don't know if I was there. You don't remember? Okay. But I I, I, I don't remember. I I, I, could have been there. Okay. Okay. I I got I I I remember thing I don't remember it vividly but I just I it just came across my mind but if you don't recall I I move on. But um a, a couple other things I wanted to ask you is did they ever seem to have hygienic problems or issues did they did you ever smell them or did they seem like they didn't did they sleep in their clothes you saw them on a monday and y'all was traveling they wore the same thing tuesday did you ever experience that no i don't, I don't really get into that kind of stuff but no there, there was never any issues like that they're, they're okay. you know they live they may live in a trailer but i i don't they, I, none of that stuff ever happened do does Joe have a house in Virginia? Is that true? I don't believe that is true. That the yeah they uh, Joe does not have any ties to Virginia. Uh, Joe was a born, originally born in St. Louis, um, and and then moved and have family in Cleveland, and uh, and moved to Alabama. So anywhere else, I don't think they really have. They don't have any connections to. Do, do you? Do you think you could have got them a deal with like a penal enlargement company for Joe Diddy? D- could do you think you could have spent that if he wanted to get that? Because all that's, of that's the, something I would have worked on. Okay, you would have said, "Don't even ask me to do that for you, Joe." Th- I, and I, I ask the questions. You know, it may seem st- a strange question, Carlos, but it's questions that, believe it or not, people have asked me. I've talked about. I, I ask the questions that some people don't ask. But I do appreciate you, and you, you have. This is the second time you've been on my show, and you, you answer all questions. You communicate. Oh, you- oh, oh! Somebody, oh. A house in Virginia. I'm putting it together now. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't. I. Yeah, I gotta talk very direct with me. Okay. Um, but no, that's that's not. None of that stuff is true. The package no, ain't true. That is not true. Yeah, and that's that's the, Let that's me just ask the, you this. Did did is this this thing? You know, they ran in my comments and in my messages talking about Joe them ran out on a plug. Do you know anything about a plug? No, I don't. That I don't. That that doesn't sound true either. Okay. Yeah, some of these things are just internet made up stuff. You know, I'm. I'm what I'm not going to do is sit around and lie for people entertainment. That's not what I'm going right. to do. Right. Right. Um, and and I never said nothing about a package, but but you have heard people they they were saying that right. Yeah, I've seen that, but that that's none of that stuff there is true at all. Okay. Well, I. This is what I love. Wait, someone said, I, "Well, Joe wouldn't tell Carlos if he did," which is not true. So I have had to have work with their medical records. They had to before they go to goals plastic surgery, they had to have medical screenings and wow, different things like it. that. So okay, 
Yeah, I'm not, yeah. but I'm not going to get into anybody's right. personal medical and, and record. That's personal, uh, and I yeah. and that's commendable. That's, that's personal information. Yes, uh, but but yes. the question that everyone is asking um, that uh, you know I, I certainly would know, but I, I'm not going to sit here and just let the, the internet continue to just disparage you know that that kind of uh, innuendo that that's just you know not not based in any facts at all. Mm hmm. So do we do so do ask, why did Charles peel his chemical peel? Charles was oh, not yeah. supposed to get a chemical peel at all. So when I left, I left them in Miami because I had to go back to Denver because I had to. So this is on a Monday. We went we flew from D.C. to um, to Miami for the chemical peel. The idea was for them to be in Miami the entire week for the peel to, to kind of go through the entire process. The only person that was supposed to get a pill was Joe. Charles was never, Rolandis, whatever, was never supposed to get a chemical pill at all. Now, somehow, Charles let those folk convince him that he needed a chemical pill. After I gave very clear instructions, Charles, you do not need a chemical pill. Don't get a chemical pill. Somehow he let the people convince him. But the one rule that they told them was to not peel. If it peel, let it peel itself. Let it peel naturally. Do not peel it if it start to peel. It's a chemical peel. Well, again, you know, I don't think that he, you know, have them all in his head. And so he decided for whatever reason to get a chemical peel. But not only did he decide to get a chemical peel, he started to peel the chemical peel. So is that why he had on all that makeup in Florida? That is correct. Yeah, because he, the chemical peel wasn't working out in his favor. Because of him, because he started to peel it. So when when Joe Diddy went to Florida in that pleather suit, in that pleather suit, and all that black, and and that size 22 foot with his toes dragging on the concrete did what would make him think that 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 was the appropriate attire in that hot heat yeah i have no idea um yeah i have no idea okay um and and then i had a question about did 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 joe diddy them when they were in new york when were you were you did you go state to state with them on every state were you with them on that tour when they were going in there performing this song and doing their appearances say that one more time were you in all of the when they went around the state doing their appearances back when you were managing them were you with them or did you have the travel manager with them no i was with them every single time you were so in that club when that and i know you may not remember this but i got a video of joe diddy with charles next to him bobbing his head um why did joe diddy the dj played a song saying something about your face your ugly face your this she was scratching it in between the music did y'all hear did you do you remember that i, I kind of i did i think i did catch that um it was but it was really after the fact i think because i think people yeah I, I i i heard the song and in that moment i didn't really put it together until social media started putting it together the social media came back and was like why did dj do that you know uh but um, but I, so, cause I, you know, when I'm, I'm not, when I, you know, when I'm managing and stuff like that, it's a lot of, I'm just not paying attention to all of the music stuff. I'm paying attention to, you know, what I need to, right? So I'm responsible for an entire staff of people, right? Security, right. um, a photographer that he's there, um, the travel coordinator, if she's there, the assistant, whoever, you know, so I'm focused on all these other layers uh, but i did hear it um and it did stick out but i didn't really i just heard it and kept kept going and didn't really give it any thought until after the fact so 
were you were you responsible do you know when when you heard them when he put out a clip and you would see all them people um charles uh netta charles netta charles we love you we love you netta for president what was that your idea um yeah that was my idea oh uh, yeah that was See, you brilliant. Do you think you could help me get this song here? Charles, Chicha Charles, your bumps are ready. They only burst for you. Charles, Chicha Charles, -ch -char, these bumps are ready. And I got your dessert too. This is for my haters. That's coming for me. Back off, Miss Netta. You don't want this disease. I'm tired of these haters picking on me. Charles, ch -ch -ch Charles, your bumps are ratty. Could you think you could help me get in the studio so I can drop that beat? Um, yeah, I know some studios. Okay, well, you gotta, you got. I, I'm gonna send you my number and. I'm sending you my number so you can. I'm serious. I want to drop this beat. I, I want. I want this on a ringtone for America. Okay. Yeah. Let's 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 uh, let, let's um, uh, let's let's get you in the studio, and you know, then we'll we'll take it one step at a time. Absolutely, Carlos. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. So. Is anybody in the in the comments that have any questions for our wonderful guest, Carlos? Does anybody have any questions that he chooses to answer or don't answer? But if y'all have questions, put them in the comments. He reads the comments. Y'all clearly see it. I, he said the baby is doing fine. His baby is two months old. His son. <laughs> two months yeah, old. Project, he's he's up there crying now. I got to go. Got to go get him in okay. a second. Well, Carlos, let me say thank you. Thank you very much. Go tend to your your son. We appreciate you on the Miss Hillary Sanchez show. One ask, I'm sorry. Someone did ask a, a final question here. Okay. What advice would he give them? If they were listening right now, um, good question. Yeah, that's a that's a very great question. So the advice that I would give to them is to, you know, to focus. It's 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 time to transition out of the social media realm, right? So you you know you've been doing social media like social media could end tomorrow, and bam, there goes, there goes your living, right? So it's, it's time for them to really transition. If they truly want to do these things long-term, transition out of the social media realm and try to find things that could bring in, you know, that could create some kind of longevity for them in terms of finances, um, sustainability, you know, name recognition, all of those things, um, you know, so they should be really trying to get with the, you know, so let's, let me give you the prime example of someone who did this and did it the right way. Okay. You, you all remember the Risa Tisa girl, right? Yes. The lady who got on Instagram and just share 50 stories about the man that she, you know, was married to, whatever the case may be. So that took off, right? People simply just watched that. As a result from that, she was signed to CAA, Creative Artist Agency. And um, now she have a deal with, I think like, it's either Hulu or Netflix um, to for, for the, a show behind that story um she has been on every national show that you can think of um but that's because she you know was able to capitalize truly off of simply some videos that people make every single day 
on um, on on TikTok. So that's the kind of you know that's what they could have done and what they could have been. But you know, I don't think that it is ever going to happen for them because one, if it was going to happen, it would have already happened. Um, again, looking at Risa Tisa, that literally happened and transpired overnight. Um, the second thing that I would say is um, you 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 got to stop all the talking that you do, right? Because you're not smart. You don't speak proper English. You know, you sound like you live in a trailer park in Silicon, Alabama. So people, no one's want to pick nobody. No, no, nobody wants to work with that. Right. Because the, the executives at these corporations, they are white. You know, they don't speak that same kind of they don't speak that they don't know. They can't relate. So it's hard for them to work with people who can't even say who get the word communication and community mixed up, who get the word result and resort mixed up, who can't, you know, properly say the word seasonings and which is a product that you actually have. So there's just a huge disconnect between them and the corporate world in which they could have had some kind of longevity, but it goes down to they simply can't stop talking if they were to just make their videos their cooking videos and put those out well you don't have to say very much all you got to do is say charles your lunch is ready and put the video out that's not a lot of words there had that been the only thing that they were doing and in addition to the appearances which again there's not a lot of talking he's performing a song that could have created and really opened up the doors, but because because of the fact that they continue to talk and put their foot in their mouths is the reason why that longevity cannot be created and it will not be created. Now, uh, let, me, let me ask you this. I'm, I know you got to get the baby. I, I apologize. There is a lady who is from their state, okay? She's from Alabama, and Joe Diddy attacked this woman's business, her page. He got her page shut down, Carlos. This was this woman's income, an African-American woman. Um, I'm trying to recall her name, but but he 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 had her page shut down her revenue, her money. She from that state. She's from somewhere down there. Um, what do you think about this grown man, this this grown damn man attacking an African-American because she had an opinion and she knew about what this man did and what he, what's her name, Don Diva? Don Diva, that's her name, I, I, Don Diva. D- what do you think about a grown man doing something like that to a African-American businesswoman where her page was her revenue? I just want your opinion before you go. Yeah, so, you know, that. so, you know, here's the thing, right? Tyler Perry can put on a Madea dress and dress up as Madea, but Tyler Perry never forgets that he's still a man, okay? Martin Lawrence could play the role of Big Mama, do the same thing, put on the bodysuit, put on the dress, but Martin Lawrence never forgot that he was a man. You know, even as uh, 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 various characters, Shanene, whatever you want to you want to look at, he never forgot that he was a man. In this case, I believe the 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 issue is that you have a character who, in fact, has forgotten 
that they are a man. And when you try to profess and proclaim this to be a character, but this is, you, you, that's just a lie because well, you, well, this is well, who you think you are. Right. right. But, but I got to say this right, just to interject and you can finish your answer. I, I need, uh, I need to wrap my brain around this. This is a whole damn ugly ass man who literally attacked a African-American woman's business and took her revenue away yeah, from well, her. Yeah, well, where I'm going with it is okay. that because, you know, he doesn't necessarily perceive himself to be a man, right? You know, um, because even out of character, still have nails done, still, you know, have the have the the voice. The voice is not the original voice. So you know they forget that ultimately at the end of the day they're still a man. And so I think that's the issue as to why it's so easy for this man to attack women in the fashion in which women are attacked by them is because they um, they forget that they are man. And just like someone said, you know, it's threat to fight women, right? Yeah, that is true. I remember, I think I saw somewhere it said, well, if a woman hit me, I'm a, you know, although I'm a man, I'm a beat it like, a, like I was a woman or something like that. Um, that That's not right. You know, you know, it, that that's not right. The physical, you know, strength that a man possess over a woman is is not even equal it's not equitable so you know so so i think you're just dealing with someone who doesn't care you think you're dealing with a narcissist you can't forget that uh, but someone who tend to always forget no matter how much they say they don't will always forget that they're still a man and and an ugly ass man at that and and, and make for an ugly ass woman I I appreciate you. I know you got to go. I thank you so very much. Check your inbox. I'll send you my number. I really do thank you. Appreciate you. This is your second time. You, you've you been a couple hours with me on the first show we done. And now you back over here for a couple more hours. I thank you so much, Carlos. Check for my number so you can message me as soon as you get off of here. And um, I want to drop that song. I want to I want to put that song out. Whatever yes. it costs to do, I want you to make it happen with me. Someone says he never speaks to other men sideways. Yeah, you know. Um, so I would. So look, I don't. I'm not scared of Miss Nigga. Okay, I would kick Miss Nigga in his balls, make him fall to the ground, and call it a day. Okay, <laughs> it's just simple as that. You know, simple, simple as that. I ain't even got to do too much. All right. I'm not, you ain't even got to do too much. Make him remember you a man. Well, um, well, us who seen him with a bathing suit on when he was on that one red carpet and that shrimp was protruding. I'm not, I'm not getting into all I that. Know. I, I will see you later, Carlos. See ya. Thank you, Carlos. All right. Bye bye. You, you you know y'all I thank him so much I thank Carlos for coming up on the show uh, but we all know about the shrimp we we all know about the shrimp you everybody has seen it, it, it it's not anything new um I want y'all to tune in.